I sneaked off to Sunday school. I read some, uh, in fact, I really got into it because my friends in my class had these little Bible story stamps that they were given every time they went to Sunday school and I just had to have one of them. So uh, against my dad's wishes, I sneaked off to Sunday school to get my one. I quite like the vicar's daughters used to do the, she, the way she told the stories, the Bible stories was really interesting. And they just seemed like Jesus seemed to me a really nice guy then. He was um, powerful, but really always kind. And I thought, this guy is fantastic. I started first regularly coming to church. Here at Coventry, because it seemed different, more open and more inclusive. And um, it's not rejecting any of the community. Well, it's a kind of timeless thing. I don't even see it as much as an institution, because I don't really like organized religion, although I'm kind of open to different things, and I just go about it my own way. Caring for your neighbour, compassion, love, which are actually all the true themes of how it should be. So I went to become a student of um, English, drama, and PE, and that was quite a main thing, PE. And I really wanted to do PE. And then I got this spinal pain. You have to do all kinds of sports, including 100 metres, and I noticed my 100 metres, it was like I couldn't run, at least a second or two slower, and I noticed that. So as soon as I went to hospital, there's a six-year-old girl being treated, and I've suddenly met all these young children who've got arthritis, and it opened my eyes that lots of people, people are getting arthritis all through life. And through my own experience of the problems, I realised that there's all these people around and they're not being recognised, their needs. And when I came across the pod, I realised that was doing the same thing but for mental health. I've known about it, but I've been involved with it since last year when they launched the Time Union and Food Union. And it fitted in with the stuff that I'm doing with Whitefriars. Because one of the, somebody, I think it was Lorraine, gave a talk about how the most important number one thing for recovery is her housing. Well, I'm on a scrutiny panel, um, which has started the last few years, and it, it is, it's like a regulatory body almost. It, you scrutinise, you, you look into how Whitefriars is performing. It's really making sure that Whitefriars as a social housing body is fit for purpose. Scrutiny is almost like Ofsted is for education for social housing. And it quite, quite amazed me that the people who are doing the scrutinising were tenants. When these flats were being renovated, I said that I needed a, a different height to answer the, you know, the intercom. So they did put it a different height, but they put it about two foot higher. <laughs> so no, <laughs> really. What has to happen is we've got to, people like me that have got these problems, I've got to alert them to this. And not just for ourselves, but for other people of, of the whole diversity of different uh, disabilities.